Well, whether you believe in angels or not, there are volunteer pilots who are acting as angels, flying veterans where they need to go for appointments and therapies, all at no cost to the vets on board. In airport hangars across the country, pilots prep their planes. The longest single trip I took was to Newark, New Jersey and back. To serve those who've served. I've done about 70 volunteer missions. Uh, Howard Epstein is one of those pilots. The opportunity to get to fly with a purpose. He's part of a network of volunteer pilots, otherwise known as angel wings for veterans. Been interested in flying people who need medical care long distances, who otherwise would have difficulty getting to their appointments. Our reserve battalion ended up losing the most people out of anybody since Vietnam. Ohio and Chris Anselm was in Iraq in 2005, deployed with the 3rd Battalion, 25th Marines, Lima Company. Ended up losing uh, 48, and uh, we had over 240 uh, wounded that we sent back. Um, Lima Company, which is out of Columbus, ended up uh, losing 14. Chris has dealt with post-traumatic stress from his service. I had no joy. I had no... It was just a very dark place. Recently, he heard about a program in Montana, Heroes and Horses, aimed at helping veterans take a different look at themselves. We end up learning horsemanship, the interaction between horses and humans, and, you know, we spend a total of 20 days in the backcountry of Montana. And while we were out there, we did 251 miles on horseback. And his ride to get there? You guessed it, an Angel Wings pilot. I certainly wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to afford the cost to get out there. I really didn't know that there were uh, or organizations like that. For pilots like Howard Epstein, it's become a personal mission, one he hopes other plane owners and pilots will take up. I would say to them, if you like to fly and you like people, this is a must do, hands down. And if you would like more information on Angel Wings for Veterans, you can head on over to either the Homefront Facebook group or my Facebook page, McKee WCPO. And if you ever have a veteran-centered story in your own community, email homefront at wcpo.com.